I think the first one has got to be the CPU smuggling story. Okay. <laughs> the 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 pictures are just wild here. All right. Uh, this was so random. I was I was I jumped on the forum uh, to check out the tech news section as I do sometimes to see if we can find anything more for Wan, and I came across this posted by Big Stroons. Thanks, Big Stroons. Tries to enter China with over over two hundred Intel Alder Lake CPUs hidden inside fake pregnant belly. <laughs> this wasn't like a couple. That's so many. Okay, these are Alder Lake CPUs. So these are high-end chips. We yeah. are talking somewhere in the neighborhood of, hold on a second, calculator, uh, 200 times. Uh, let's say they're not even top tier chips, like maybe like 400 bucks or something like that. We're talking like with the iPhones, nearly a hundred grand worth of merchandise under this under this wow. fake baby bump and apparently the way that they caught her was that she claimed to be five months pregnant but obviously Someone well informed yeah obviously had neither uh, ever actually been pregnant nor ever seen a five months pregnant person because her belly was absolutely huge and she was apparently walking effortlessly which caused a lot of suspicion interesting okay so after careful inspection, the customs agents discovered she had used duct tape to fix and hide smuggled goods beneath the fake silicone be uh, silicone belly. Uh, so 202 Alder Lake CPUs and nine iPhones. Um, not a baby. Uh, the original source here. Wait, where's the uh, where's the so original this article? Is, this uh, is Open a 3D is at least one of the sources, so we've got that. The next paragraph goes in to say the yeah. strangeness about this situation, aside from the obvious, <laughs> is that customs would have eventually noticed the components and phones once Zhao walked through a metal detector. Do they have pregnant women walk through metal detectors? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, what the heck? Yeah. There's nothing about a metal detector that would cause. Ma'am, your your of... your your baby is metallic. Yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> like... How could she have possibly thought this was going to work? Um, I think that another really wow. uh, kind of key part of this conversation is what is the deal with sneaking CPUs into yeah. China? There are okay. Well, there are a couple. There are a couple of answers here. Um, Let's talk about the more traditional reason to, to, to smuggle electronics into a country. Uh, one of the things that I heard through the grapevine, allegedly, allegedly, was that the online site, which I don't believe exists anymore, or if it does, it's under completely new management. Like None of the people who would have been involved in this scheme would still be there anyway. Okay. Um, but allegedly, Tiger Direct... Okay, e-tailer that you guys probably remember from the days of, of Zip Zoom Fly, M-Wave, all right? Back in the day, I'm talking about, yeah. okay? The, the big four were Newegg, Tiger Direct, Zip Zoom Fly, and M-Wave, like back in the early to mid-2000s. And allegedly, Tiger Direct, one of the ways that they were so successful was through taking, taking advantage of... Uh, Intel's MDF programs to a degree that just no one seemed to be able to figure out or care why they were doing so well. Okay, so they were based in Florida. As far as anyone outside could tell, they weren't really selling that much online. Newegg was based in California, and as far as anyone could tell, was selling a lot online. But Tiger Direct always seemed to sell a lot of Intel CPUs. And what was really unusual, so said the, the word through the grapevine, what was really unusual about it was that it was a really different skew mix from all the other major online sellers. Because typically, especially back then, high-end would sell really well online. Like at NCIX, our best-selling cards were like your 70 series, oh, really? 80 series cards, like for on the NVIDIA side, like your high-end GPUs. 
Whereas someone like, I remember talking to my Zotac rap, rap, my Zotac rep way back in the day. And uh, he was saying, you know, oh yeah, you guys are like the biggest seller of, of high-end cards for us in the country. And I'm sitting here going, we sell almost nothing. How do you even have a job? And he was like, oh, well, we sell a ton of like tier cards, but it's all through like, like Best Buy or whatever else. And that's, that's pretty typical. That's why when you walk into a retail store, they don't have like six thousand dollar AVR like yeah. receivers on the shelf. Yeah. Because the just the density of customers who are gonna buy that sort of thing is not high enough. They're not just walking into a store for that. It goes through installers like like VARs, so value added resellers, or it goes through online, like online boutiques, where if yeah, if you're able to cover like half of a freaking country, you could manage to, you could afford to keep three or four of those in stock. You know what I mean? You can't just put them at 250 locations. Yeah. And what, just one each? You're going to have at least two or it's not really in stock, is it? So it, it was typical for online sellers to sell a lot of enthusiast tier hardware and for retail sellers to sell a lot of low end. Now, Tiger Direct had retail stores, but so much of their sales it's like Celerons, Pentiums, like low-end stuff. And what I heard was that the reason for that is that anytime they needed to hit an MDF target or uh, you know, uh, pump up their, their, their volumes through Intel so that they could get uh, marketing funding, is they were buying like literal containers of CPUs. And then they were going on to container ships down to Brazil. Oh, okay. So... Bit of a different operation, but same idea. Different operation, same idea. And the reason for that is that Brazil has absolutely, like, I don't know how to say this without using cuss words. Isn't or it just crazy import? Just unbelievable import tariffs yeah, I've heard about on this. electronics. Yeah. If you see a Brazilian, like an actual Brazilian who lives and works in Brazil holding an iPhone, they are a baller because everything all electronics just have these wild import tariffs and it's so it's so frustrating because you look at it and you go why yeah like I, okay sure you want revenue for your like government or whatever like but maybe how about something more reasonable and then people could actually afford any of this stuff and import volumes would go up and like probably it's a net gain all around and then you have better technology in the country and that's good for entrepreneurs like there's there's obvious reasons for for you know uh less friction when it comes to international trade particularly around electronics but i uh, I, I don't know anyway the point is the the smuggling uh, operation that allegedly was taking place uh, out of Florida was at least understandable because if you could get those CPUs into the country, even though you were going to have to find people who were going to like, you know, buy them like cash price under the table or whatever else, the difference in cost between a smuggled one and a, an officially imported one it's, it's like double or something like that. A Prime is saying that it's apparently been to promote uh, in-country manufacturing. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. It, it, as far as my understanding goes, it, it didn't really work. I mean, they've been at this for how long now? It's <laughs> not happening. Long time. Yeah, Intel ain't putting a fab in Brazil. It's not. I remember really old school. Like I watched this really old school like mini doc on smuggling Xboxes into Brazil, <laughs> like original ones. Like this is this is a this is an old topic. Um, yeah, not a new thing. Anyway, but so someone someone brought up that this is maybe to get around um, some of the Trump introduced. Well, there's no single there's no single American administration to blame for this That's uh, at this enough. point. Yeah, but there are there are significant there. Uh, export restrictions yeah. on electronics into China. Yeah. And so if you simply, whether it's a high import tariff that drives up pricing or whether it's a shortage that means you simply can't get them. I mean, we've seen around the world, never mind just in Brazil or just in China, we've seen around the world what people are willing to pay to get their gaming fix if there's a shortage of something like, say, for example, GPUs. Oh, yeah. So this this eighty thousand dollars worth of CPUs. I don't know about the iPhones. That one I can't really figure out. Apple sells in in China. Um, 
I, I don't know. There, there's other stuff that I really don't get. Like it always kind of blows my mind when people will travel to Vancouver and like go shopping downtown at like Fendi or Gucci or whatever. I'm sitting here, but you don't have Gucci where you're from. Like, uh, yeah, may, maybe I'm totally off base here. Maybe it's just like a, like a, like a mindset thing. When you're traveling, you're just like, yeah, I already spent four thousand dollars to be here. So what's another two grand on a bag? Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand the rationale behind Appa it. Apparently, Apple yeah. is now assembling the iPhone 13 in Brazil, but not the iPhone 13 Mini. Okay. So they they won one. They you know, won one. They got one. How's the how's the rest of it going? <laughs> just just ridiculous. Sweet. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I I just thought that was funny. Yeah, so so we've so we've seen what people will pay when there's a shortage. So it's possible that this eighty thousand dollars worth of CPUs is worth I don't know a hundred thousand, a hundred and fifty thousand. I mean, clearly there was money to be made if she was going to risk. I mean, jail time, making an attempt like this. Can I help you? Sorry, I I got it. We're fine. Um, yeah, no, it's um, and it, this has got to be like pretty much guaranteed jail, right? Trying to smuggle over a hundred grand worth of something into a country. Yeah, I would I would think so. The amount of money involved. I'm pretty sure that would throw you into jail here. I yeah, that's a that's a lot of money.